on my career at all the things that I achieved. Shania Twain! Shania, Shania Twain! Twain. Shania Twain. Yes. The records that were broken, I was doing fantastic. And it fell by the wayside. For some reason, I'm not comfortable singing in front of people anymore. I have lost my ability to sing. I've lost it. Don't expect more. Day, day. This is amateur night. I need to sing again. It wasn't one crisis that made me lose my voice. It was my childhood poverty, my parents' death. I was a workaholic, and my marriage was falling apart. My own friend had an affair with my husband. What if I can never sing again? Never been so miserable in my whole life. I just had to snap out of it. So I'm getting out on this tour, trying to find my voice again. I want to talk to people that have been through similar struggles. My husband left with my best friend. I wanted what she had. She trusted you. I'm taking myself out of my comfort zone. Stop sugarcoating it. That was like so private. Why don't you scare the heck out of yourself and go sing a song with Lionel Richie? I will be inspired by other people. The more you do it, the stronger you're going to get. Share my own experience. Our own parents have died this year, actually. But maybe that will inspire them. Exactly. The people I brought with me are the people that I really love and trust. <laughs> Let's go then. Life's two most important questions are why and why not. The trick is knowing which one to ask. Here we are now on the second leg of my journey. We are on our way to Huntsville. Huntsville is a small little place between my hometown of Timmins and Toronto. Very spectacular you down in beautiful. Oh, it's too nice. Huntsville was a real transitional time in my life between the loss of my parents and my career taking off. When my parents died, I had two minor brothers still at home, and I wasn't sure how we were going to economically cope. And there is no way that live singing in a bar is going to support a teenage family. And I needed to decide whether I even wanted to carry on with my music career. But a friend of mine said, please don't quit singing. There is a gig in Huntsville at this place called Deerhurst. I can thank that job for keeping me in music. Are you guys at rehearsal? Beautiful. Lady. Today is your day, so you know. How do you like my hair? My job at Deerhurst was a stage production, dance, sort of off-Broadway type. Vegas style sort of thing that I had never ever seen before in my life and was musically another world. <laughs> Performing at Deerhurst really took me out of myself because I had never worn high heel shoes before. I'd never worked with dancers and never mind try to look graceful. So the show was completely out of my comfort zone. The Huntsville job at Deerhurst is reminiscent of a very unstable and scary time in my life, which is exactly where I am now. Oh, <clears throat> but I did get discovered here. An amazing performance that was, by the way. Oh yeah? Yeah, I was there. Oh. It was just magnificent. I mean, your sequin dress you were in and you, came walking down, wind beneath my wings. Yeah. Right from the first note, I just knew that this was, you know, going to change her life. It's just ironic that I've sort of gone full circle 
back to a scary point in my life. I'm back on the stage. I'm scared again. I'm struggling and my voice is choked. And on purpose, I'm standing on this stage to now face this new fear. I need a marker, a black Sharpie. But if I want to sing again, thank you, and enjoy it, I have no choice but to put myself through this. Life's gonna kick you around, then kick you again when you're down. Should it be kick you again while you're down? I think when, but that's yeah, because you kick somebody when they're better. down, right? Yeah. Too. Not Does while it? they're down, when they're down. Yeah. When they're down. Okay. When you're down, while you're down. Now, when when you're down. That's okay. good. I felt comfortable uh, being creative. You know, being able to get into the songwriting mode at that moment with everybody being there and listening to my thoughts and ideas. I, I, I don't feel inhibited that way. It was more the performance 